Welcome to DIY with Nancy. Well, today I'm gonna to share with my recipe for my sweet potato cake. In Portuguese, I call this cake bul de batata doce. It's very simple, it's a decadent cake, um, easy to make, you get some fiber and sweetness all in one. So stay with me and watch how to make my sweet potato cake step by step. To make my sweet potato cake, here are the ingredients. I have two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of dark brown sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, third cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, three large eggs, and one sweet potato. Now I'm going to be using one cup of the sweet potato puree. I'm going to boil the sweet potato and use one cup of the puree. And these are the ingredients you'll need to make this recipe. I'll also list the ingredients in the description box down below. Let's get started with the first step. The first step will be to boil the sweet potato. I've peeled it. And so what I'm going to do is just cut it in smaller pieces so I can boil a little quicker. I have a pot going here with some water and I'm gonna just start off by cutting it in half. Just little pieces, rounds is fine. I'm going to end up cutting them all in smaller pieces anyway. Now, if you have extra puree, sweet potato puree, it holds well in the refrigerator for about three days uh, if you want to use it again. Or you can even place it in a... Um, uh, Ziploc bag and freeze it and then when you're ready to use it you can just defrost it and make this recipe again or anything that you want to use with uh, sweet potato puree. So now that I have my sweet potatoes it cut in small cubes I'm going to place it in the water. I'm not going to salt the water I'm just going to place the sweet potato in there and I'm going to let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes until you place your knife in it and it's really soft so it's ready to puree. All right Now that I have the sweet potato in the boiling water, I'm gonna let it boil, uh, let the sweet potato cook uh, until it gets really soft. Then at about the 10 minute mark, I'll place my knife in it, see if it's really soft, and then if it's not, then I'll let it cook a little bit more. But the whole idea here is to get the sweet potato very tender, very soft. At that point, I'll show you the next step. The sweet potato has been boiling for about 13 minutes now. I'm gonna just take a knife and place it into the sweet potato. It's cooked and the sweet potato is quite soft. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna drain the water and I'm going to mash the sweet potato. I'll show you the next step. Now for the next step, once you drain the water from the sweet potato, you're gonna place the sweet potato back into the same saucepan that you initially used. Just gonna make sure I have all the sweet potato in there. And then using a potato masher, I'm just gonna mash the sweet potato. And I wanna form it into a puree. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Okay, once you have the sweet potato mash, you're going to just make sure that it's formed into a puree. There's no chunks. And it's perfect. And I'm just gonna place it in a strainer because there's still uh, quite a bit of water. And I'm gonna leave it there until it cools off and then I'll be ready to add it to my sweet potato cake. Now I'm ready to move on to the next step while my sweet potato puree is cooling off. I'm gonna start off by placing three eggs. Break three eggs into the bowl here. Of course, I leave the shell in. Let's get rid of that. This is why I always break the eggs into a separate bowl. Knowing me, I always dump it into uh, the shells into the uh, bowl that I'm mixing the cake or the batter in. Uh, so I have the three eggs and I'm going to add the one cup of dark brown sugar. I'm gonna be using my handheld mix um, mixer for this. Uh, it's just 
easy. Everything gets done really quick uh, and it's easy to combine. So I'm just going to use my mixer here, combine the eggs and the sugar until I get a creamy mixture. So I just mix this for about a minute. And next I'm going to add the uh, unsalted butter, which is a third cup at room temperature. I'm gonna place the butter in. And I'm also going to add the vanilla extract. All right, we're gonna mix that up. Very easy and quick to put together. Just gonna mix in the butter very well. Now that I have the butter and the vanilla extract well blended into the mixture here, I'm now going to add 250 milliliters, which is one cup of the sweet potato puree, the main ingredient. I'm gonna place it all into the mixture, all in there. And then once I have it in there, I'm gonna mix the sweet potato puree into the mixture until it's well combined. At this point, you're ready to add the dry ingredients. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift in the dry ingredients. I'm gonna start off with two cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and the quarter teaspoon of salt. Sift it in. Okay, now that we have all the dry ingredients in, all we need to do is combine it to form the batter. And then once the batter is formed, we're ready to place it into the cake pan and in the oven. That's how easy and quick it is to make this sweet potato cake. So I'm gonna combine it until the batter forms and you don't see any more flour. I'm just gonna stop the mixer for a second here. And I'm just going to use my spatula to scrape down the sides to combine all the flour or the dry ingredients into the batter. Make sure it's all well incorporated. And I'm just gonna continue mixing. I'm not gonna over mix this. I just wanna mix it until I don't see any more flour and it's well combined. Okay, so a 30 second mix and we're all done. Just gonna use the spatula to make sure I have everything well combined here. And now we're ready to place the batter into the cake pan. So let's move on to the next step. Now for the next step, before I place the batter into the cake pan, I'm gonna grease the cake pan and I'm using an eight by four inches deep uh, cake pan. And I'm gonna just simply uh, place some baking spray in just grease it all the way around the center. Make sure the cake doesn't stick. A generous amount. And once you have your cake pan greased, you're ready to place the batter into the cake pan. So let's do that. My sweet potato cake is ready to go into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna bake it for 30 to 35 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. My sweet potato cake is out of the oven. I had it baking for 35 minutes. At the 35 minute mark, I placed a toothpick in the center. It came out clean. Now all I have to do is wait until it cools for about 15 minutes, flip it onto a cake plate, cut into it, and show you what it looks like inside. 
And here is my sweet potato cake, boule de patata douce. It's simple and easy to make, as you can see, and all there is left to do is to cut into it and show you what it looks like inside. Now I'm gonna cut into this cake. Let me show you a piece of this delicious cake and how soft it is. Look at this. It's so soft, it's still warm, but my gosh, it's so simple to make and so delicious. With sweet potato, you get your fiber and your sweetness all in one. And there you have it, everyone. That's my recipe for my sweet potato cake, boule de batata douce. It's a decadent cake, easy to make, and just delicious. Mmm. The flavor of the cinnamon combined with the sweet potato. Mm -mm -mm. So good. It's just a perfect recipe to make with a sweet potato. I hope you all enjoyed my recipe for my sweet potato cake. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care. <laughs>